and welcome to our community. This is a social media style platform where you can share your makes, connect with other sewists, and use hashtags to browse patterns and materials. I'm Kate from Minerva and I'll be sure to link my personal profile down below in case you're looking to follow me here too. I'm so glad you're joining me for today's video. I'm going to share with you my 10 favorite patterns with unique details. Before we get into that, I just wanted to remind you that there's a great coupon code for when you sign up for a Minerva account. It is totally free, it just opens up a lot of opportunity for you to connect with other makers. And once you're done with that, it'd be great if you could give us a follow. Just hit that button right above this video beside our name. This just means we're going to show up on your feed so you can see new posts and videos as they come out. You can also like, share, and save this content. It is all totally free and it really helps us out. And as always, leave me any questions or comments you might have down below so I can get back to you. Now, let's get to those patterns. The first unique pattern I want to mention is the By Hand London Tamsin dress. What makes this unique is, well, it's really a lot of things. It has a square neckline, but my favorite detail is the pin tucks on the sleeves and the dress. This isn't something you see every day. I think this makes it look kind of folky and beautiful. It also has this external facing, so meaning the facing is actually on the outside, which means there's a lot of opportunity to do some fun binding or embroidery or embellishments of any kind because you're going to have that part there that's going to stand out and you can show off your skills. And I think this Liberty Lawn is a great fabric choice. It's just a fun little ditzy vintage floral. The autumn colorway is probably what I would choose. Next up we have the Closet Cork Charlie Caftan. I don't know if I'm necessarily a caftan person, but I really like the unique details in the center of this design. It's got a couple different options that just makes it stand out, and I'm sure you'll be getting compliments and questions like, where did you get that, every time you wear it. And if you really want to make an impact, choose this viscose crepe in midnight. Pattern number three is the Friday Pattern Co. Sage Brush Top. This one has the little ruffle detail across the bust and I think it is so cute and it just it's a really feminine look. It also somehow manages to be nice and loose but not baggy and oversized. It's just a great pattern. And on the pattern envelope you're gonna see a gauze option. I would go with cotton gauze as well and I really like this light pink color. Next up we have the Grainline Studios Archer shirt. Now from this picture you're thinking this is just a basic button-up. What's so unique about that? But if I flip her around, the ruffles on the bottom. I actually didn't see very many inspiration photos with using the ruffle detail, which is kind of interesting to me because that's totally the one I would choose. I realize it might add some extra attention to an area where not every woman wants to be looked at, but I do think it's really fun and unique. You could even lengthen it into a dress or something like that just to give that little extra fun. As for fabrics for this one, I think I would choose this polyester seersucker in the blue colorway. Don't you think that would be really fun? Pattern number five is the I am Jane top. Now, again, at first glance, plain Jane. I think that's maybe where the name came from. But what I think is unique is this V at the front. It's not your typical V-neck. It's more like a V-notch, which again, we're not seeing everywhere. And because this top doesn't have a ton of different style lines, I think it would be great for a bold print, something like this Lady McElroy lawn. Just don't be afraid to go bold. The next pattern on my list is the In the Folds Collins top. This is another woven top with a few different options, but what's getting me on this one is the seam lines. There's just so many opportunities for color blocking here. You can go really wild with prints. You could do some beautiful detailing, just do a solid color, but then do a contrasting thread on the, and do some top stitching along the seam lines. You can have so much fun with this pattern, and that's why it's on my list. If you did want to go with a solid color, I would probably do a linen, and this lavender is really, really soft and pretty, which I think is going to let those seam lines really stand out. All right, another woven top is the Liesl & Co. Afternoon Tea shirt. Now, I don't have a ton to say about this one because, again, you're like, it's just a basic shirt. There's a few really fun options, but what got me is that lace panel across the front. It goes right across the chest, but it also goes onto the arms, which forms this fun kind of chevron look when your arms are down by your sides. It also has a fun keyhole detail in the back. So for this, for the fabric, I would probably choose something with a bit of structure, maybe a linen or a cotton lawn. But then for the lace, you need 
something with wow factor. This corded lace is so beautiful. There are so many different color options. I just chose this ivory color to show you what's going on. Pattern number eight is the named pattern Kilo Wrap Dress. Again, wrap dress, basic. No, 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 this isn't your basic wrap dress. This isn't your grandma's wrap dress. This is a knit wrap dress that wraps around from the back and it has two ties. It, it looks like a flying suit or like a flying squirrel or I don't know, but it looks crazy. And then you wrap it around and it gives this beautiful silhouette and it kind of just hugs and cocoons your body with this kind of straight skirt that goes down. I think it is stunning and I have not seen anything like it anywhere else. And if you go to this pattern link here and you just keep scrolling down, you're gonna see some inspiration, one of which is a jumpsuit, which I was like, my mind was blown. I was like, sold, need this pattern, amazing. I think because of how fitted this design is when it's all tied up, I would go with something really stretchy like an ITY. And again, why not make a statement? Go with this fuchsia colorway. The last two patterns I have to share with you are pants patterns. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is the Palisade Pants from Paper Cut Patterns. I have made this, I love the design, I love the angled pockets, I love that side panel. There's just a lot of fun details going on, not to mention it's an elastic back waist, so it's really forgiving for fit, and it's also super comfortable to wear. The lotus color of this cotton poplin is so pretty. It's like a, a pinky purple, and I think it would be great for a pair of pants. The last pattern on this list might be my favorite of them all, and it is the So Liberated Annanite pants. These are kind of similar to the Palisades, but a little bit less structured, so they're going for a slouchy look, which I think is so comfortable, and the pockets that intentionally bag out and look kind of like they remind me of like a cherry picker or some some sort of farm worker who is who has these buckets strapped to them that kind of thing you know what I'm going for anyway I think they just look so casual comfy cool I think they'd be especially great for people who are looking to add some volume to their bottom half without adding like a ton of fabric so it's a, just an option instead of like a wide leg trouser or something like that this pattern also has some ways for you to up your sewing game because it gives instructions for French and flat felt seams. The last thing I'm going to brag about this pattern is the cuffs, the bottoms. There's a few different options and I think they are all equally beautiful. Now, for the fabric. This is the showstopper, guys. This is the Slub Linen Tencel in Amber. It is so good. If you don't buy this, still go and check out these listings just for all the fabric feels. I want to just go to the warehouse and roll in this fabric. It just looks so beautiful. And I think it would add just the level of drape and comfort that these pants are begging for. And that's the end of the video. My 10 favorite unique designs on the patterns here at Minerva. Thank you so much for watching, liking, sharing, following, commenting, and for being part of this community. I can't wait to see what you create. Happy making, bye.